Imagine downloading an entire 4K movie in just one second, or streaming massive amounts of data without a single glitch. That's not science fiction. It's the promise of 10G internet, and China is racing ahead to make it a reality. While much of the world is still expanding 5G, China is already leaping into the next era of connectivity. From smart cities and autonomous vehicles to AI-powered factories, 10G could reshape not just the internet, but the global economy. The question is, how close are we, and what does it mean for the rest of the world? When most people hear 10G, they immediately think it's just the next step after 5G, like going from 4G to 5G. But here's the catch. 10G doesn't actually stand for the 10th generation of mobile technology. Instead, it refers to internet speeds of 10 gigabits per second. That's 10 times faster than the gigabit connections many people in developed countries are just beginning to experience today, and more than 100 times faster than the global average internet speed. To put it simply, 10G is not a replacement for 5G, it's a parallel development. While 5G is focused on wireless mobile networks and making your smartphone lightning fast, 10G is largely about the wired infrastructure that connects homes, businesses, data centers, and smart devices. Think of it as the nervous system of a future digital economy, able to handle the flood of data generated by artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, autonomous vehicles, cloud gaming, and next-generation video platforms. The leap from gigabit to 10 gigabit internet isn't just about speed, it's also about latency, reliability, and capacity. A 10G network could deliver a seamless virtual reality meeting across continents allow surgeons to perform real-time remote operations with zero lag, or enable factories to run thousands of smart robots in perfect synchronization. China has been investing heavily in this area because it sees connectivity not as a luxury, but as a foundation for economic competitiveness and national security. Just as 5G became a geopolitical battleground between the US and China, 10G could set the stage for the next round of competition. Whoever controls the fastest and most reliable networks will have the upper hand in AI development, defense technologies, and global commerce. In fact, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology has already announced test zones for 10G networks, working with companies like Huawei, ZTE, and China Telecom. These trials aren't just experiments. They are part of a long-term roadmap that positions China to lead in the race toward digital supremacy. In short, 10G is not science fiction. It's a practical, near-future technology that could make today's internet look as outdated as dial-up. And China is determined to be the first country to bring it from the laboratory into everyday life. China's journey toward 10G internet isn't happening overnight. It's the result of years of coordinated strategy that combines government planning, corporate innovation, and massive investment in infrastructure. Unlike in the West, where telecom companies often act independently, China's model is heavily centralized. This allows the state to set long-term goals and push major players, Huawei, ZTE, China Telecom, and China Mobile, toward a unified vision. At the heart of this vision is fiber optic expansion. While much of the world is still upgrading from copper-based networks, China has laid down millions of kilometers of advanced fiber. This gives it a backbone that can easily handle 10 gigabit speeds. Huawei, in particular, has been showcasing its 10G PON, Passive Optical Network Technology, which allows service providers to deliver 10G speeds directly into homes and businesses without rebuilding entire networks from scratch. The second pillar is data centers. 10G speeds only matter if the digital content you're accessing can keep up. That's why China is building some of the world's largest and most advanced data hubs, many powered by renewable energy and cooled with cutting-edge systems. These facilities are the engines behind cloud computing, AI processing, and next-generation applications that demand ultra-low latency. China is also leaning into test zones and pilot projects. Cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen have become living laboratories where 10G networks are rolled out in limited districts. These trials support smart traffic systems, real-time public safety monitoring, and immersive entertainment experiences like 16K video streaming and holographic displays. Each pilot is essentially a small-scale rehearsal for the national rollout. What makes China's approach unique is its willingness to subsidize and coordinate. 
The government has pledged billions of dollars not just for research and development, but also to ensure nationwide coverage. This avoids the patchy rollouts that many Western countries face, where rural areas lag behind urban centers. China wants 10G to be a universal utility, not a premium luxury. And the timing couldn't be more strategic. As trade tensions with the US continue, China is doubling down on technological independence. By controlling both the hardware, Huawei, ZTE, and the infrastructure, state-backed telecoms, China reduces its reliance on Western suppliers like Cisco, Nokia, or Ericsson. That independence could give Beijing a decisive advantage in the global digital economy. In short, China isn't just testing 10G. It's building the ecosystem to make it mainstream. If 5G opened the door to smart devices and connected cities, 10G is set to transform nearly every aspect of daily life and industry in China. The leap from gigabit to 10 gigabit speeds isn't just about browsing faster. It's about creating an environment where real-time data becomes the backbone of society. Take smart cities as the first example. With 10G infrastructure, traffic management can evolve beyond simple sensors. Imagine an entire urban grid where millions of vehicles, streetlights, and cameras communicate instantly. Instead of waiting in traffic jams, cars could be routed dynamically based on live conditions, while emergency vehicles are given uninterrupted priority. This level of efficiency could save billions in productivity losses while reducing pollution. Healthcare is another sector poised for disruption. Remote surgery has been a promise of 5G, but it requires extreme precision. With 10G's ultra-low latency, a surgeon in Beijing could operate on a patient in a rural hospital hundreds of miles away, with the same confidence as being in the same room. AI-assisted diagnostics could also stream massive medical data sets in seconds, making healthcare more equitable across China's vast population. In education, 10G could finally deliver on the dream of immersive virtual classrooms. Students in remote provinces could participate in real-time holographic lessons with teachers in Shanghai or Beijing. Virtual labs could give students hands-on training in physics, chemistry, or even surgery without leaving their homes. This democratization of education could significantly narrow the gap between rural and urban China. The entertainment industry is also preparing for a revolution. 10G opens the door to 16K streaming, cloud gaming with zero lag, and immersive AR-VR experiences. Imagine watching a concert in Shanghai while feeling like you're standing right in front of the stage, or playing a game streamed directly from the cloud with no need for a console. This could redefine global entertainment consumption, with China leading the charge. Finally, industries like manufacturing and logistics will benefit from real-time synchronization of thousands of smart machines. Factories could run robotic assembly lines with perfect precision, while shipping companies could track every package with instant updates across the globe. In essence, 10G isn't just faster internet, it's the foundation of a new digital civilization. The development of 10G internet isn't just a technological milestone, it's a geopolitical weapon. In the 21st century, nations compete not only over military power or natural resources, but also over who controls the digital backbone of the global economy. China's push into 10G represents an attempt to secure a first-mover advantage in the next great connectivity race. For the United States and its allies, the arrival of 5G was already a wake-up call. Huawei became the target of sanctions and restrictions because Washington understood that whoever dominates network infrastructure also gains enormous influence over data, security, and innovation. If 5G was a battlefield, 10G could be the decisive war. By the time Western governments debate regulations and spectrum allocation, China may already have operational 10G zones across major cities. This matters because connectivity shapes global supply chains and alliances. Countries that adopt China's 10G technology may find themselves increasingly tied to Beijing's digital standards. Just as the US dollar became the backbone of global finance, China hopes 10G infrastructure could become the backbone of the digital world. That would give Beijing influence far beyond its borders. There's also the matter of AI dominance. Training large-scale artificial intelligence models requires massive bandwidth and data transfer speeds. If Chinese researchers can run simulations, share datasets, and collaborate across networks at 10 gigabit speeds while Western counterparts lag behind, 
China could accelerate its AI breakthroughs years ahead of competitors. This, in turn, would influence military technologies, financial systems, and even space exploration. Of course, the US, Europe, Japan, and South Korea are not sitting idle. Companies like Nokia, Ericsson, and Cisco are researching 10G as well. But without the same level of centralized coordination or government subsidies, their rollout will likely be fragmented. That gives China an edge in deploying nationwide coverage first. The risk for the West is not only technological, it's also strategic dependence. If developing nations adopt China's 10G networks through belt and road-style digital projects, Washington could lose its leverage in shaping global digital standards. The battle isn't just about who gets faster internet. It's about who sets the rules of the future internet. In this sense, 10G is more than cables and fiber optics. It's a chess move in the struggle for global influence. China's 10G development is more than a technological upgrade. It's a bold statement about the future. Faster speeds, lower latency, and vast capacity are not just about smoother streaming or quicker downloads. They represent a new foundation for global innovation, from smart cities and remote healthcare to AI research and advanced manufacturing. And if China succeeds in rolling out 10G before the rest of the world, it could shift not only economic power, but also political influence for decades to come. The question now is, will the world follow China's lead, or will rival powers find their own path to 10G? Just as with 5G, this race is about more than connectivity. It's about who controls the rules of tomorrow's digital world. So what do you think? Is China's 10G rollout the dawn of a new era, or just another round in the never-ending tech rivalry between East and West? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective. And if you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss our deep dives into the technologies shaping our future.